Well, we've not even reached Thanksgiving yet, but I'm already feeling the Christmas spirit. Is that a good thing? I think so. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about the brand new show, Dash and Lily, on Netflix. I want to say thank you to Netflix for the screener. I'm excited to talk about this. I need you in the comments down below. Is this a show for you? You may not think it is but it may just be. Let's talk about it. So a whirlwind holiday romance builds as cynical Dash and optimistic Lily trade dares, dreams, and desires in the notebook they pass back and forth at locations all across New York City. The show is actually based on a book called Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Now, why is it called Dash and Lily's Book of Dares? Well, the entire premise is kind of built around the fact that they don't get a lot of screen time together, yet... They show and portray really great chemistry. It is this very different kind of romance, one we're not often getting in the modern age, in the world of uh, technology and texting and uh, FaceTiming and all the things that the kids do. Uh, no, they're writing back and forth and kind of giving each other clues and hints as to something as simple as what her name is. And then the complication comes when they're daring each other to do things that the other person may not necessarily want to do, uh, whether it's going out in public and doing something when uh, you've never really done anything like that before, it's that fear of not being able to fit in, or, in Dash's case, kind of embracing the Christmas spirit. He's not currently a huge fan due to his circumstances, uh, but we explore their pasts in a way that really builds up their characters well. Uh, for Lily's character, we get a bit of insight into why she feels the way that she feels. We see her at the beginning of the show wanting to kind of hang out with adults and fit into her very specific bubble that she's never been able to uh, broaden or go outside of. And then you have Dash, who is dealing with a very recent romance and kind of the fallout of that and the fact that he just wants to move on with his life. But that's hard to do because it is the holiday season. It is Christmas time, which kind of puts him back into that place. So two characters that want to kind of escape and do something different. So when they start going back and forth, and the thing about this show is you have to kind of accept the circumstances. You have to accept the premise. It's like, all right, well, maybe the wrong person finds this book, uh, finds the first clue that she leaves, and none of this works out. So you almost have to believe that fate led them to this place. But once you get behind that, and once you really buy the first episode, if you're able to do that, and you get on board with the style of the show and the way that they tell the story and the fact that they have phenomenal chemistry, yet barely share any screen time together, I think a lot of people are going to like this show and at least find it charming. Because that's what it is. It's charming. It's wonderful. There's great chemistry between the characters. I know you may look at the poster and say, well, we've seen this kind of show, whether it's a free form or a lifetime, and they kind of rinse, repeat, recycle the same formula, and sometimes that works. It really does. Uh, I've been surprised numerous times with these kinds of shows coming to Netflix because, of course, that's the focus of this channel. But Dash and Lily goes beyond that. It really deals with struggles that you don't often get with a show like that. Now, I will say... Maybe I wanted them to go a bit deeper with these struggles. It does somewhat keep them, even though they are interesting, it keeps them surface level. So uh, we don't get the level of character depth that I believe many will want, but it's going for this heartfelt and heartwarming feel. Uh, it's also heavily, heavily a romantic television show, and I think a lot of people are going to be seeking that out uh, this time of year, especially in the midst of quarantine. This is the ultimate form of escapism, in my opinion. It is built to put a smile on your face, and the way that it tells its story I thought was so interesting, because you will get uh, one event or multiple events happen from the perspective of Dash, and then you will go back in time and kind of relive those events through the perspective of Lily. And the entire time, they are going back and forth, but they are utilizing uh, this journal to tell each other's story, and then friends get involved, and then they're trying to figure out ways to plant the seeds for this relationship to flourish in the future. But the entire time, Lily is being told by multiple individuals, um, Dash is kind of, kind of snarky. He's kind of the guy that you don't know anything about until you can peel back those layers and really get to know him. But the character of Boomer, who is great, by the way, I loved his personality, uh, he tells Lily, listen, once you get past that wall, 
um, you finally start to discover that he is worth having as a friend, or in this case, as the other half of a relationship. And Lily is kind of the opposite. She's peppy. She's outgoing. She loves Christmas. She embraces that spirit. And she's really not the kind of girl that you think would fit with a guy like Dash. Some of the quests that he sends her on involves things outside of her comfort zone, for sure. Whether it's Jewish punk or doing kind of the opposite of what she's used to. And I like that, and same with her to him. Uh, I love the fact, in the first episode alone, uh, you see that he's willing to do these dares. He's willing to get up in front of people and sing a song or read a poem. And it's just, it's a great showcase of joy. It's just a joy-filled, heartfelt show. Uh, And again, the back and forth that they have and the fact that they barely share any screen time together is just awesome. Dash and Lily really surprised me. It's not only that, it's also on a technical level. I thought the show was very well directed. I like the look of it. Uh, It really captures the spirit. And it's one that I even feel like could be a show to revisit and go back to next Christmas. I feel like many people will. Yes, it's eight episodes, but each episode is only 25 to 30 minutes long. And it really plays out like a movie. And even though I think there's an opportunity for a season two, I wouldn't mind if we just kind of stuck with what we got in season one. It's a very good contained story with good characters and good acting. I want to get into the actors really quick. Austin Abrams, uh, who I think crushes it every time we see him on screen. A lot of people know him from Euphoria, but he showed up in uh, countless movies. He's really good and a very different kind of character. Sometimes he plays a horrible person. Other times he plays a really likable guy. And again, you know, he's a little bit like ah, Christmas, ah, humbug, but you start to like him. And then Lily, who's played by Midori Francis, who I don't know as much about, but she showed up in Good Boys and she was great in that movie. But oh my goodness, maybe the most likable character on Netflix this year, at least one of them. She's awesome in the show. And that peppy personality kind of clashes and conflicts with his personality and that back and forth. And you're just, you're in it for this romantic adventure. And I think they do a wonderful job of that. So before I give you guys my score, thanks so much for tuning into this review. If you enjoyed it and you want to drop a thumbs up button, that would be awesome. Stay tuned. Lots more to come on Netflix. Um, man, I'm going to go I'm going 80% for Dash and Lily. I know it's not the kind of show I thought I would like to this degree, but I really enjoyed it. Like, I had a great time with these characters. Uh, but this is not all we're going to talk about Dash and Lily. I will be showing up on the Hallmarkies podcast. Rachel and I will be discussing this series in depth, talking spoilers, how it plays out, uh, that ending. I know a lot of people are going to want to talk about. So tune into that podcast later on this week. I will have a link in the description. You guys are the best. Appreciate you for watching. Dash and Lily, are you checking it out this weekend?